Are you ready? Well, you better get ready for Near Earth Asteroids. Here I am. Here we are, my love. Active volcanoes. Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents. And so I'm taking you on a journey with me. Sometimes I just like to talk. And nowadays, I got a microphone and a recording system device creator, compactor, suppressor, compressor. And then I stick it in the YouTube thingy. And I'm like, holy crap, look. <laughs> Get ready, because this ain't funny. Asteroids are coming close to Earth. Don't be a dummy. Okay, that was dumb. Where are my brown dwarfs? Asteroid Fight Club is where we fight asteroids. And asteroids are a metaphor for anything that can destroy society. Zoo. You're right, sir. Asteroids are close. Zoo. We have now become accustomed to many services provided from space in our daily lives. Communications, weather forecasts, television, remote sensing of the environment and navigation. The big ones are the ones that, if they get impacted, will create a cloud of other smaller debris, which in turn could hit other debris, and they could start what is called the Kessler syndrome, a chain reaction which is not controllable. And we are talking about Asteroid 2021 Good Woman 4. For you? For me? All right. It is coming within 0.1 lunar distance of the Earth and the reason this one is fascinating is because, according to Tony Dun Dun Dun, it will pass closer than our geosynchronous satellites on April 12th. Yeehaw! Asteroids from space, don't let them hit you in your face. Or anywhere in your body. They can be dangerous. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Asteroid Fight Club. I am your planetary defense commander, Star-Lord New Thor 7, the T. Let's continue and visit one of the most congested regions in space, the geostationary ring. This is the only orbit on which satellites move synchronously with Earth, an ideal choice for meteorological and telecom satellites. The average distance between two objects here is only 190 kilometers. How would you like some sweet doom candy for your goofy ass? Yeah, buckle up, sunshine. We are in for a ride. Although two groups that have been doing wonderful have been the atmospheric defense team with hurricanes in the United States of America and Asteroid Fight Club. Sew. Yeah, I have to admit, it would be kind of neat to watch an asteroid plow through a bunch of satellites like bowling pins, you know? But that probably won't happen. And if that did happen, it would probably be super dangerous and super deadly because, man, the entire area is totally filled with space debris. But these are strange days indeed. Now, if this kills people, I will make an apology for telling jokes. So we will be paying attention because what do we do? It is what, what do we do? It is what, what do we do? It's like five diameters tall, wide, around stuff, you know. And I'm trying to get my sense of humor back. Zoop. Okay, I just found this asteroid two days ago, which has mean they only looked at it like 18 times. It has a condition code of seven. Ah, the condition code days are back. It's so exciting. So buckle up, because we are going for a ride. Whoa, double whoa. All right, 9.60E negative three AU. Yeah, definitely seems pretty close. And will it hit a satellite? Probably not. But, you know, it's fun to imagine sometimes. This is what we're doing. I mean, this is 2021 Good Woman. So, you know, you probably got a better chance of finding yourself a good woman than you do getting hit by asteroid debris or satellite debris. So make of it what you will. Capiche? Yeah, I'll be monitoring it. You'll be monitoring it. We'll be monitoring it together. That's what we do. Asteroid Fight Club. Hey, we made it through 2020, didn't we? Okay, great. Experts fear that one day, a cascading effect of collisions and follow-on collisions. This collisional cascading effect was already predicted some 40 years ago. The exponential increase in the number of objects is extremely difficult to slow down. Some 8,000 tons of space debris orbits the Earth, ranging from obsolete satellites to tiny flecks of paint. The United States tracks 23,000 objects larger than about 10 centimeters. So the next time an asteroid starts gradually moving into our neighborhood, 
we'll have a better idea of exactly where it'll end up. Maybe we can come up with some great ideas on how to stop potentially hazardous asteroids from messing up our shiz. I plan to have a good future. How about you? Man, the more I learn, the more I don't know, and the more I have to learn. Crazy how that works. When you're straight, neutron stars come out of the rain. When you're straight. Their shut down grandstanding cluster fudge was so ridiculous. You know, I don't even know what to say anymore. 2014, baby. So don't get all cocky being like, oh yes, we know what we're talking about with science.